So my hope is that I will be able to ally with Kandar and that hopefully the Ottomans will declare war on them. But dude, we've done it. Oh my god. Okay. Straight away. Army maintenance down. This fort in Albania is gone. We actually did it. I am gonna keep this fort on for a Dairn. Uh... Oh. <laughs> My god. I actually did it. Can you believe that I did this, guys? Oh my god, I'm gonna have a heart attack. So this is really good. Um, the In terms of, like, what's next, uh, now that we've got this initial war, I mean, we have a lot of options for ourselves. I mean, we can now start to try and consider... So, we managed to do that by September 1447, which I'm extremely happy about. Now we just need to decide what's next. So, do we move over to try and attack Venice? There is... Uh, rivaling anyone early is a great idea, so maybe trying to grab people like uh, attacking Serbia. But if we can get an alliance with Kandar on the earlier side of things, I'd be very happy. What I'm going to do is, on Karaman as well, I'm going to improve relations. So I'm going to improve relations with all those people. And the reason I'm going to be doing this is I want to try and get an alliance with either a Kandar or a Karaman. Because I want the Ottomans to declare war on them and then they will call me in. Because obviously I have a ridiculous truce timer with these guys now. Uh, until 58. I want to declare war on the Ottomans much more earlier than that. Because I want to be able to take all of this stuff. And I want to be able to take Greece. And I want to just wreck the Ottomans. I don't want them to exist anymore. So, first of all... Let's set Serbia as a rival. Uh, Venice has rivaled us as well, so we might as well rival them. Genoa is allied with Luca, and they've rivaled us, so we will also rival them. Fantastic. We're now going to repay some loans. Right? This is good. This is really good. Um, I wouldn't mind, though, being able to afford an advisor or two. Tax modifier. Now, I would like to try and get tech 4 in advance of them. So we're going to make sure we do get a morale of armies, dude. Can't quite pay that off, but that's going to help us out like crazy. Okay. That's going to get rid of a lot of loans. War exhaustion is obviously very high. So like I said, we're going to be working on improving relations with Karaman and with Kandor. And the hope is that we'll be able to ally with them very shortly. Um, really wish I hadn't got a royal marriage of Theodora. Make a territory states. Oh, yeah. That helps out a lot. Thank you very much. Uh, we're now going to get rid of this edict. No edict. And again, saves me a lot of money. We are low on manpower, of course. But that's it. That's all we need to do. We have 17,000 units. Turks driven from Western... Bo what? The force of the Ottoman Empire have been driven out of the Western Balkans. The significant point in the Empire's restoration gave 50 power each. Oh my god. That's awesome. By the way, for those who are subs, this is the Aldra Fish Chip. It's my mode, you scrubs. Alright. I don't want to do this mission, guys, because all it gets me is claims that I cannot use yet. And AE impact reduction and yearly legitimacy. I have no need for these. I want to wait until I can get the maximum benefit from them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to sending our little barky boy and protect trade for Constantinople. Yes, a DLC event, absolutely. And we're going to wait. So Serbia is at war with Hungary. Okay, so straight away, Serbia right now is at war with Hungary. Um, and that means I could declare war on them. I'm not just because I have no money. Hey, that's okay, but don't worry about it. No worries. Uh, I was just making fun. So I could actually try and do this, and I would be able to... If I take the capital, I would be able to get a lot of bonuses for that. Obviously, I'm low on manpower, but it would be crazy useful to do this. Um, just to get a free war on them. What we're going to do is we're going to check Serbia's soldier count. Serbia has 10,000 men. So we're going to actually wait a little while. Okay, so um, I'm going to declare war into Serbia. Uh, we're going to repair our fleets. And make sure that we are protecting trade in Constantinople. And how many how many ships does Serbia have? They have four galleys. So I could beat them. The only thing is I really would like them to die. And my ardent hope is that they will ally with us sooner rather than later. 
Ah, uh, damn. There we go. So we're going to ally with Kandar. Get them in a PU. I wish. So we're going to wait now until Serbia gets destroyed. Uh, by the Hungarians. And then we're going to attack them to show superiority. Alliance breaking with Albania. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. I'm, I'm a bit of a bastard. That's extremely fair. I didn't give them anything, so... What if the Serbs win? They definitely will not win this war because they have no soldiers. <laughs> ah, their independence has been guaranteed. Never mind. Okay. I could declare war on these guys now. And they would be called in. Okay. I could declare war on the Ottomans, and they would be called uh, onto Serbia, and they would be called in. Dude. That is cool. They have very little manpower. What's their war exhaustion like? Let's take a look. Ooh. Maybe that could be fun. The Ottomans. The where, where are the Ottomans? Next manpower. Da, da, da. So they were, they've they've gotten rid of all their war exhaustion. So what we could do is we could just try and walk on their face. Uh, they have no allies now. No claim on Zidipha CB. It wouldn't... Oh, no, I wouldn't be able to take anything. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Never mind, never mind. Uh, is this in the Bulgaria area? I think it might be. No, it's not. It's in the Serbia and Arisia area. Damn. Nope, I don't get claims on that. On the, I didn't heard of Vangeria, but I don't get the area claim. Well, let's just do this now. Uh, Albania, Ottomans, and Venice. Okay. No good for me. Shame. No longer desires Byzantium as an ally. Well, that's a shame. So it doesn't matter. An offer to become a march from at No. You could claim Zeta, nonetheless. That's not a bad idea, yeah. Alright, cool. Now, we're never going to get a lance of these guys because we're allied to Kandar, but we can always delete that. And they are at war with Dulcadir. Like I said, the hope, the hope here is that they uh, they start doing something janky and they declare on them. Go to Adairn. Sickness of Basilius. Uh, tax modifier reduction or autonomy change. I genuinely cannot afford... Oh, no, actually, I make a lot of money. I don't know these port for 437, so that's fine. That's fine. Albania broke the alliance, and there goes Serbio. So I still have to fight the Ottomans, so I don't really want that. Okay. Now we're going to keep an eye on the Serbians' forces. If they, at any point they start to implode, then we can get some real good things from these guys. Okay, the Ottomans join the war. They will indeed join the war against Serbia, yes. My hope is that they attack Kandar. That's what I expect them to do, is to attack Kandar. Hey, look at that, gain a galley and a conquest, nice. Uh, these guys repairing? They are, good. Okay, good. I realized earlier, if I wanted to get troops over to Biga, what I should have done is I should have just moved the transports there. There, docked them, and then moved them to Biga. Oh well. I would have had to not have to dealt with so much waiting. What I'm hoping now is that the Ottomans will attack either Kandar or into Karamam, and that I can call be called in by them. It should be Kandar. I don't think it will be Kandar, though, because they will call in Ramazan. They'll also call in Crimea. 
And if they have to fight Crimea, they'll get wrecked. So I think it really, it's going to be Caraman. I think it's going to be Caraman. The families left behind lose tax modifier, manpower modifier, or unrest. That's fine. I'll take the unrest. Yeah, we're cool. Unrest isn't really a problem for us. Um, I could try and get this. Which would be very nice. Obviously, I can't get any these bonuses. But being able to get extra siege pips would be good. War taxes. The AE impact wouldn't be the worst thing either. All I have to do is put a bunch of points into this. But I very much do want to try and get tech 4 before the uh, before the Ottomans do when I fight them. And I'll probably have that in a couple wars, uh, years even. I get that in, yeah, 1450, Jesus. Last jousting tournament, oh my god, so good. 10% morale, army tradition for 20 years. That's one of the best events in the game. That's so good. I basically need to keep an eye on these armies, and if they start to move south or north, these guys, they can't declare war on them until 49, but I think it is going to be Caraman. Ah, come on. Repay the last loan? Oh, dude, yeah. That'll help. Thanks, buddy. I think we're going to stop relationship improvement now. I, I just... I don't see the fat... I don't see the Ottomans declaring on them if they have to fight Crimea at the same time. Crimea is not insignificant. Like... They have, well, they have 11,000 troops, so that's not actually that great. But... They also have... Five guys. Okay, so they would get their ass handed to them, but it would be a further complication. I am not waiting, though, until 58 to declare the next war. I have to take it now. Ah, oh, lose to Diplo. Damn. Just need to wait for them to make a choice. We're gonna make it soon. I just don't see it. There's no way they're gonna declare war on them and risk losing everything. No way they would ever do that. They have to fight Crimea, they'd have to fight Ramazan. So we're really not that much, but they'd be in serious trouble. Hey, look at that. Royal marriage has ended. I am guaranteeing them. So they won't I have to keep the guarantee on, unfortunately. Let's go that claim. So I could now declare on them. Okay, so if I declared on Serbia for a conquest of Zeta, the Ottomans would join. And they are 775 in debt. As one crash E4. Control or delete, tet, select, and end process. Not Alt F4. Alt F4 will sometimes not work. Uh, it, I think it actually does register that you do that, so it's Control Alt Delete and then, or Alt Tab and then Control Shift Escape to then select it and then click End Process. Do you can you, well, maybe you can go Alt F4. I'm not sure. Um, the only problem is is that the Ottomans do have a very large army. Obviously, the army has been rebuilt. Uh, yeah, twenty eight thousand. Okay, so the problem is if I. If I attack them, what will happen is they will march forces over here. And then they will eat me alive. Let's just take a look at this. The Ottoman, How many ships do the Ottomans have? They do have 15 galleys, yes. Yeah, so they would kick my ass. Basically, if I declare war in Serbia and land troops there and get the siege and all that great stuff, I would win that. Perfect. And then be, I could start to grab all this. But... The issue is that they would then march their army over here and just take it down in Constantinople, and there's nothing I can do about it. They would take it. 100%. And I do not have enough ships to maintain the blockade. So... Poop. It's not, it's not possible, basically. So we're going to wait and hope they declare war on Caraman. Because if they declare if they declare war, if they declare war on something, then they're going to be stuck there 
sieging down all those freaking provinces for ages. Like morons, which is awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and mimic the exact same strategy that we already did. Which is to have mothballed units right there. I am trying to build ships, yes. And that should make, make them not ever put a fort there. So it's September 49. They would ally me. I am pretty sure they are not going to declare war on them if it, because it means it will put them against Kandar. I'm not going to get an alliance with them for a while, so we're going to have to dissolve it. I could actually still get an alliance with Kandar. I really tried. I don't really care about an alliance with Theodora, to be honest. They're basically useless to me. So the hope here is that they declare war on them. I can then march and instantly steal this fort. Instantly steal all of this. Uh, and then also just start dropping units off and sieging all of this. Siege down everything here. Siege down everything here. Uh, I mean, not beat them in the, in the navy, but do something at least. I'm basically just building tons of galleys to try and combat them because we have a, they have a lot of galleys. The thing is, their fleet is kind of split up. Were I able to beat up their fleet piecemeal? I don't think it would go too badly. And oddly enough, I can actually still ally them. It's just I think they would delete it. Reduce independence of the church and gain money. Ooh. Oh, I need 10. Oh, hey, if I do this, I'd be able to select one of these, wouldn't I? Uh, okay, manpower coverage, be discipline, unrest, harsh treatment costs, construction costs, improved relations, or institution embracement costs. Manpower coverage, be discipline is pretty good. Yeah. Late Michael, they are Sturgios. the command of the heavenly host and archangel will defeat Satan in the war in heaven. Icons and Michaels are common throughout Orthodox Christendom. Boom. Okay. Come on. They can't do it just yet, obviously. Build a battleship. Hell no, it's all- it's galleys or nothing. Everything here is in land sea. There's no reason to build heavies. Like, none. I might actually take a loan. You can script up for five Patriarch Authority. Oh, that's cool, but I don't need it. I'm going to go over my force limit a little bit here. Because I need to get more galleys. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that'll put me at parity. We can beat up that fleet. What I should start to see them doing is moving their troops to the south. My ardent hope is that that's what they do. If I attack them, I'll get destroyed, obviously. Okay, Kara has declared that they don't like them. Um, I don't care about the Kara though. They can fight them if they like. We're getting manpower back. We're getting money. My hope is that these guys will go south. If they go south, we win. Hello. There's the Renaissance. And where is the Renaissance gone? Right there, that's fine. My voice is getting really gravelly. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Oop, there's the book. I couldn't find the book. So I'll take till 1480 for the Renaissance. That's fine. Uh, hey, feedback. What's up, buddy? Welcome back to the stream. Thanks for joining me, my friend. How's it going? How was your stream, buddy? I'm really hoping they go south. Anatomical theater, lose innovativeness, gain unrest, or gain innovativeness and everything. I'll just, I'll just, I'll lose the innovativeness, I don't care. Hey, you see, yeah, I love this game too, man. It's one of the, I'd say definitely it's the best Paradox game. Consecrate Metropolitan for extra authority. I have actually forgotten how to do that. Fuck. There we go. You can consecrate Metropolitan Authority of at least 30 development if all provinces are fully cored, orthodox, and have accepted culture. It would gain state maintenance 10%, and it would give 5% patriarchal authority. 
Okay, the state maintenance, unfortunately, is... So we go by a little bit. That's perfect.